It's been a month since I switched off and on release, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on whether or not I think it's worth it, a small montage showing off my progression this last month, and the best ways to practice to increase your edit speed if you turn it off. Before we get into the video, chapter 4 is coming out in less than a week, and when the new season drops, I would greatly appreciate it if you use code Howl in the item shop before purchasing the battle pass or any other skins, it helps out a lot. Right off the bat, I want to say that I'm glad I turned off and on release. After a month of getting used to it, I could see the improvements in my crosshair placement helping me hit shots, and there's a lot less incidents of me opening a wide edit and getting hit for a bunch of damage because I got into the habit of being behind cover before confirming my edit. For anyone who's thinking about switching, these are my thoughts. With edit on release, you have the ability to edit faster because you only have to press your edit key once. With edit on release off, you can have increased control and freedom in your crosshair movement and peaks, and you can get your edit speed just as fast as edit on release. I go more into depth about this in my older video when I first switched, so if you want to check that out, the link is in the description. But if you do switch, don't expect to be back to your old skill level in just a few days. You can definitely see lots of improvement fast, but it'll take more time to get where you used to be. Just keep in mind why you're switching and how it'll benefit you if you stick it out. Last thing I want to note is that this isn't a game changing setting. You see people with edit on release get by just fine without the benefits, but that doesn't mean that having it off wouldn't increase their skill ceiling. They just learned how to work around the disadvantages it brings. Instead of talking through my progress over the past month like I did in my 7 day video, I'll let you guys watch these clips from the past week so you can see for yourself. Last thing I'll show you guys is the way I practice to increase my edit speed and get used to edit on release off quick. First thing is edit towers. I need to get used to pressing my edit key twice to confirm so I sign edit towers and will edit one tile then pause really quick then do it again just to isolate tapping the edit key twice to get the timing down instead of just spamming my edit key a bunch of times. After that I would move on to editing two tiles and pausing just to get used to pressing my edit key four times for a double edit. Then on the last tile I would edit three tiles and pause for triple edits. I would go through the medium and hard setting of this and then I'll move on to free building and force myself to do everything I was uncomfortable with until I got better at it. I found the most helpful way for me to improve was focusing on one move at a time instead of doing a bunch of difficult stuff because I would mess up really often and while that's good I would eventually get a little demotivated or annoyed. When focusing on one move I could see the improvement as I go and after some time I could do that move consistently and try using it in fights. Which leads to the next thing that I do which is PG. I would send these for rounds and rounds just working on a few moves and pulling them off consistently against an opponent. Fighting someone helps out a ton because while you're working on your moves just like in free building, you have to move at a different speed in order to actually fight and are forced to make different edits that you wouldn't necessarily do when free building. Last thing to do is play arena. This is where I worked on my angles the most. If you do a bad peek you're gonna get hit for a lot and you just learn to make better peeks which is much easier now that add on release is switched off. The biggest issue I came across in my first two weeks was focusing so much on speed that I would forget to take advantage of the fact that I could edit behind cover easier and put my crosshair where I wanted, so make sure that you don't do the same as me and focus on taking advantage of adding on release off. If you don't want to play arena right away, there's a section in Raiders Mechanics map where you need to edit and kill the bot without exposing yourself, otherwise you'll take damage. I'll leave the code in the description if you're interested in trying that out. That's it for this video, if you enjoyed drop a like and subscribe if you're new. 
If you're thinking about switching or recently switched to no add on release, let me know in the comments. And if you're still on add on release, let me know what's stopping you from switching. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.